Hello, my beautiful internet friends. Welcome to Yoga with Joe. This isn't actually a new series. I'm not a yoga teacher, but I am in pain right now. My back has been bothering me for days and it's gotten to this point where I can't really focus too well at work. So I'm taking a break right now to try some lower back yoga with sunshine here. I tried yoga a couple days ago on my own and I was able to do a little bit more than I thought I could. I tried some like really basic moves. And so we're gonna try this together and see how far I can get. I'm trying this from a video called Yoga for Lower Back Pain from Yoga with Adrienne. I actually used to do her yoga a long time ago. Like every morning I get up and do it with her. And so now we're gonna do it with her without a leg. And I'm gonna see how much I can do with sunshine, my prosthetic, and without. I should be able to take it off and on pretty simply and hopefully I'll start feeling a little bit better. One of the unexpected consequences of learning to walk again, learning to walk on a prosthesis is the rest of your body isn't used to it. Um, things get pulled out of alignment. My body feels like it's very, very off. Parts of me hurt that didn't hurt before, like my lower back and hips. So we're gonna try this together today and see if we can fix some of that. If you're an amputee or you have all of your meat legs and limbs and hands still, feel free to join along. Okay, we're gonna start on our backs. I guess that would make sense. We'll let the knees come in towards the heart. So one thing in yoga that I need to be aware of now is that I can't fully bend this knee. So you see how I can like totally bend this knee like this leg can be touching this leg, they're the same leg. This part of this leg can be touching this part of this leg. I can't do that here. This is as far, this is as far as we got right here because the back of my socket starts digging into the back of my knee. So when I'm doing moves like that first one, I have to be conscious of how far I can actually pull my knee into my chest without causing it pain. I could always, of course, just pop her off. Does that look weird to see someone just like rip their leg off on screen? I'm gonna see when I edit this. And this might actually feel better for my lower back. So what we're doing is drawing circles with the palms on the knees one way and then the other. Yeah, I can, I can feel that stretch so much more this way. Something that I've learned before in yoga too is like small circles feels just fabulous. It feels like it releases a lot of tension on your lower back. And it definitely feels like that right now. Join me in a little rock and roll up. So I'm gonna grab the, the outer edges of the feet. I'm gonna begin to rock a little. Well, we can't quite do that. But we got that. So I used to go to yoga classes fairly often at a local place. And one concern I have is I know that there are some poses that I can do with my leg and some that I definitely can't. I don't wanna be in class like constantly trying to take my leg off and on, but I may have to do that sometimes and that's okay. So my question to myself is like, how quickly can I effectively put my leg off and on? So let's try it right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, well, let's, let's call it a messy 10 seconds. I think that that's not horrible. Like that's not a horrible change time and taking it off is like three. So I feel like that's acceptable. <gasps> Ouch. <laughs> well, damn it. <sighs> what the heck? I'm trying to sit back down, I like slipped because my foot gets covered in dog hair. It like gets coated and will slide on the hardwood floor and my knee twisted and it got shoved back the way that really hurts. <sighs> Sorry I had to hear me complain for like 30 seconds. I think we're fine. We're fine. Cross-legged and bring the palms to the knees here. Then on an exhale, chin to chest, navel draws back towards the spine. That feels very effective. And then slowly we'll rock all the way back up and come to all fours. Here's where we really get challenged. If you want, you can sneak in a gentle cat-cow here. A little cat-cow, my favorite. Then we're gonna take the right leg and lift it gently all the way up into a lunge. Now again, if the lower back is tight. That looks okay. I'm going to heel to heel to my right foot out a little bit. Toe heel, just gonna toe heel it on out seem a little counterintuitive, but I'm stretching the front of that left hip crease, the, the psoas here that wraps literally from here to here, which often causes um, some crappy crap crap in the lower back. I can see where that would cause some crappy crap crap 
I just feel like that's probably where a lot of my tension is coming from. Send the sit bones back for a little stability as we walk that right heel in. And then we're just gonna take it for a nice little counter pose here. Right heel stays in the earth as we relax the weight of the head over, pulling the right hip crease back. This doesn't have to be a deep stretch, guys. In fact, if we're tending to the lower back, we should keep it nice and spacious, nice and easy. It's a great ankle stretch for me. Terrible jokes for days, guys. And nice and easy, gingerly switch to the other side. All right, this is where I gotta be careful because of the whole knee situation. Take it nice and slow, find integrity. Nice and slow, all right. This is like, right through here is where there's so much tension. I think as an amputee, your body's always trying to compensate, right? Because your bodies are incredible and we adjust so quickly to new things, but um, your body sometimes adjusts in ways that aren't super comfortable. And so there's a lot of tension that is stored right here for me. So this is effective. And then we come out. Nice and easy, lifting the sit bones back. Walk the left heel in towards the center line. Yeah, so that shifting back that she's doing, I can't really do that because my knee won't bend that far, so I can kind of just play with it out here. Then I'm gonna take my hands to the belly, draw the belly in just slightly, and let the weight of the head hang over gently. Keep the knees bent. This is probably my all-time favorite stretch. Good balance test. Cool. Cross the ankles, nice and easy. We rock, walk it back through. Yeah, so those kind of things I definitely can't do. I can always just come up, you know, out of camera. Looks good. Give yourself a little more space. So again, rather than drawing the knees all the way up here, Z's, I'm letting, I'm letting myself have a little more spaciousness, a little more. It feels good to just take a few minutes, like in the middle of the day, to connect with my physical self. So in all sincerity, that actually does feel a little bit better. For many years, I've had a really hard time being, uh, I hate using the word present because it makes me sound so trendy, but I've had a hard time physically really being like present in my own body and my own self. And yoga has always been one of those things that really helps for me. It helps so much with anxiety. It really just calms things down and brings things back to center. God, I, I really sound like a yoga person right now. It just brings things kind of, I feel a lot more centered after I've done it for a little while. My cats are tearing things up outside my door. Sorry for the noise here, but that felt pretty good. How do you guys feel about yoga? Have you tried it? If you're an amputee or a person with a disability, do you like it? Have you tried it? Do you find modifications easy or are they challenging for you? I think I'm still in the process of discovering that myself. Um, thanks for doing some yoga with me. Thanks for sitting here with me today. I'm gonna definitely try some more of this. There are some other poses and moves I'd really like to try that I used to be able to do that I would love to still be able to do because I'm pretty bendy and pretty flexible naturally. And so there was like fun stuff that I could do that I'm not sure if I still could do with a little sunshine here, but I bet, I bet we can find a way. So stay tuned for those videos in the future, but thanks for chilling with me here today, guys. I've gotta get back to work now because I am two in the slate. But thank you to my patrons who make these videos possible. I couldn't do this without you. Thank you for spending a few minutes out of your day watching this video here with me today. I love you guys, I'm thinking about you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Hand her from the sky.